yeah, man, we gotta get these crazy kids uh, into a new enclosure. You see, they're getting, they're kind of getting big. And I want them to tame up. Uh, she's the more difficult one to grab. Whoa, you see that? <laughs> you guys okay? Everyone all right? Good. Hey, what's going on everyone? Ken in here. And today is gonna be just a little bit of fun. We're uh, moving things around. Um, this has been empty for a while now. And I know that I was going to put um, Pinky in here, but things have changed. I came up with another idea. And uh, that's the beauty of owning your own place. You can make up your, you can change your mind whenever you want and do just different things and just kind of react uh, to different ideas as they happen. So what I want to do today is I'm going to get Crazy Sophia and Stumpy and I'm going to put them in here. They're my rhino iguanas and these guys aren't really tame. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennedy. This week's special shout out goes to Adam Owens. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. Um, and I think the best way to tame them is to get them in a new enclosure, which is what I'm doing. We're just filling up some water and uh, we kind of have gone around and just, just tweaked it a little bit, pulled out some things and then uh, made it very simple. They've got, a, of course, a hide box, a lot of room these girls and boys are going to have. And uh, I think it'll be really cool because at the moment where they are, they charge at the door and I'm always worried about them getting out. So I'm going to move that and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with. Uh, oh, hello. There's a little Chinese box turtle right there. You got to watch where you step everywhere you walk in these enclosures. There is Guapo. What's up, Guapo? How you doing, buddy? Say hello to everybody. Come on, man. You know you want to. That's my boy saying what's up. And then, of course, this sexy girl, Lola. She's just enjoying herself right now. My little dream boat here. I love you, darling. And uh, yeah, just a great little lizard. I've had these two for a very long time. Uh, they're doing really well in here. Um, but anyway, what I want to do, number one, is we're going to get these lizards and we're going to bring them over here and we're going to put them in a new enclosure. And I think it's going to help calm them down. They're in such a small enclosure. They're two lizards. They're big. Uh, they're getting on breeding size. So what that means is we need an area for them to potentially... Hey, that's not good. Hey, man, what are you doing there? That's where you belong. That's more safe. Uh, Kate always yells at me because I got machetes and knives everywhere. Uh, but anyway, the kids know not to touch them. Uh, okay. So... Yeah, man, we got to get these crazy kids uh, into a new enclosure. And Pinky is going to get something else. I've got a really cool collaboration that will be coming in a few months with a cool company. And when it shows up, I will definitely uh, make you aware of it. Um, but we are, as you have been watching, I did mention a little bit about it. I want to do a cage over here. And I think it would be really cool to get uh, Pinky in this area because it's more suited for her. There's Stumpy right there, the Stumples, and then there is Crazy Sophia. Now, here's the situation. I've got to get these two, and i got to make sure they don't go into that cave. So we've got to be fast. I'm also going to pull this. Uh, i got so much I've got to do. Look, see, she's going to come over here. She thinks she's going to eat. That's what's going to happen. See? And then she, she winds up, like, attacking me. I fed her yesterday. It rained in this. So let's go. They're getting a little calmer, but not, not much, not much calmer. Um, so what I want to do is block this because I don't want them going in there. That's how we're going to do it. We're going to block that so they can't get in. You see, they're getting, they're kind of getting big and I don't want them to be uncomfortable and I want them to tame up. So that's what this whole thing's about, getting them tame and I want to get them in this bin somehow this is not the best thing to kind of have for them but it's what i got at the moment and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get in with these lunatics oh they're gonna be not very happy with me i can tell you that so we're gonna come in they have strong jaws just because they're herbivores does not mean they can't give you a good bite and really give you a good injury but we're gonna try and not get bit today and so i'm gonna have to grab them pretty quick and get them set up. Now this thing's not working well. Look at this. That that doesn't line up at all. What was I thinking? Well, maybe the door got a little bit um, 
it's possible the door itself has gotten a little bit warped over time. I don't know. I just want it to not open when they hit against it. Oh, that's what it is. There we go. It was just not tweaked the right way. All right, so it's kind of early and uh, she's the more difficult one to grab. Whoa, you see that? <laughs> she's also pretty darn aggro. Uh, and this is what I want to stop. I want to get them in the larger enclosure so I can walk in there with them. Stumpy seems to be okay, but I want to be able to walk in there with these lizards and not have them try and kill me. And the way to do that is to give them space and then they'll learn that you being in there is not a big deal. So um, that's what we're on about here today. Um, okay, so let's get to it. I'm gonna try and set you all up to where you can get the best view because I'm not gonna be able to do this one-handed. She's gotten big and uh, I don't wanna risk getting my fingers bit off. So I wanna set you guys up and hopefully we can uh, just grab her without incident. As soon as I move over there though, she's gonna get pretty angry. And what I'm gonna do also is I'm gonna give them some food in their new enclosure so that they're rewarded for the drama they're about to go through. Um, yeah, so that's it. But I'm just gonna kind of wait for her to see what she's gonna do. I wanna try and get her closer. And um, this way it'll be a little bit easier on everyone. Uh, so it'll be pretty cool. I uh, just got a text. Okay, I'm done. I'm back on, baby. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Hey, girl, are you in a good mood? What kind of mood you in? You're not in a good mood because you just tried to attack the... Uh, she tried to attack the darn thing perfect. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go over here. I wanted to come over here if, I, if we can. Yeah, she's not happy about this. And I have to get her first because she's my wild one. I always like to get the hard ones first. All right. Hey, girl. And you gotta just, gotta be secure. Oh, by the way, I was working uh, on the pond and I gave myself blood blisters on the tips of my fingers, so they hurt. Wah, wah. A lot of excuses, Harkin. A lot of excuses. Oh, there we go. All right, she's gonna poop on me too. That usually happens. So she's real strong, but that's okay. We got her. All right, and now Stumpy knows something's up. See, see, he's not happy. He just pooped. He's a little nervous because he knows he's next. Um, but we're going to go ahead and put her in. She's got such good claws here. And she's doing a, a death. She's making me think she's dead. She's just gone limp. Um, all right, let's get her going in here. Nope, 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 nope. All right, we got her in. We got her. I'll tell you what, let's go let her go and I'll come back and get the other guy. I think that would be the best thing because one lizard to transport at a time is gonna be much better. Okay, you guys stay right there. Yeah, that, that works. Whoops, excuse me, pardon me. I should have been using my head cam, I think. Okay, well, regardless, we got her without too much drama. Um, I didn't get scratched, which is nice. You can see it's pretty hot here. It's been well into the 90s and it feels like 100 with all this humidity. So it's pretty crazy. You just come outside and you start sweating. That's summer in Florida. So I'm not really complaining. Just letting you know why I looked so unsightly. Okay, so um, I'm happy that this is... Ooh, but, oh, you guys okay? Everyone all right? Good. You know, we do a lot of interactive videos here. So, you know, you might bang your head from time to time. Uh, anyway. That's latched on nicely. Open this. Grab this. Oh. Okay. All right, you're going to have new... Uh, new neighbors kids and don't worry everyone worries because i leave this open but these two don't go anywhere it's more the turtles that are gonna wander around so we shut that 
she's turned around. Hi, good looking. All right, now this crazy Sophia here, named after my little Sophia, is actually a beautiful female rhino. Come on, girl. Come on out. Welcome. This is your new home. It's big. It's got a lot of space. I won't have to grab you. Come on. You want to come out? You're okay. You're okay. Good. There you go. There you go. Now, what will happen is since there's so much space, she's going to run, run, run. She might bang into some walls. Um, they're a little crazy sometimes. But, um, yeah. So, here she is, man. This is cool. And she is just going to put on so much size. And being that I'm going to be able to sit in here and relax with them, um, I really suspect that they're going to tame down. Um, I've decided, I thought I was going to actually sell these girls and boys, this, this pair. But I've decided, no way, man. I'm, I love rhinos. And I'd love to have another pair that, that are breeding and happy here. Uh, we do have little Stevie walking around over there because she is an escape artist, that little one. So she's uh, in here. But um, yeah, it's just, uh, I think it's gonna be cool. So she's gonna wander around, get the lay of the land, and we're gonna go back and get Stumps and uh, hope Stumpy continues. Sorry, sorry there, Sophia. It's all right, little one. Uh, and hope Stumpy is as uh, easy to catch as she was. But look at this, I'm just drenched. Oh, there she goes. Yeah, it's very cool. So there you go, you got a whole new spot. You got your own little apartment. Um, I think it'll be good, man. Some rocks to climb on. We got nice sunshine over there. We got a platform that comes up onto the top they can bask on. Um, so it's definitely a, uh, a roomy enclosure uh, for two large uh, cyclora. So, yay! Here we go. Let's get the other one. You keep doing your thing. We'll be back and we'll spend some time with the both of them together. See how they do. All right. There's always something happening here at the camp always something to be tweaked but um yeah this is really good stuff because hey look at that i love seeing them using this land bridge that i made <laughs> so cool um yeah it's always fun because you know I, everyone always asks how do you tame lizards there's so many different ways um you know you got you got my friend up there uh kevin mccurley at nerd he's got his method and he's very hands-on and he spends a lot of time with them because you know he he's up north and he can't really do many outdoor enclosures so it's not really um you know a functional thing that he can build enclosures to where he can walk inside um, for me i like the long game i really don't mind um allowing them to be kind of skittish uh when they're younger uh, but as soon as i decide i'm going to keep a pair um, I like to get them in larger enclosures that I can get in and just hang out and just, you know, be be at peace with them, man. And then sooner or later, they just, they tame themselves. So that's my method. If it is, in fact, the method, I don't know. But he is still hanging out right here, which is good. Okay. All right, stumps. And then this cage will probably get moved, obviously, when we put the new one. We're going to have to move it because I have to do a lot of work uh, to this area. This whole area right here, this whole thing is gonna be a large cage. So I think um, obviously I've got some good friends. Uh, we're talking of course of my friends um, at Aquascape and uh, maybe we can do something really special for Pinky as well. So that's, that's kind of my hope. <sighs> okay, let's get in. And it's always nice to have cages that are empty in case you do get a new a new addition to the family and um, you need to have room for it. What's up, Stump? Now, Stump has tried to bite me before. Um, he started off real tame, <laughs> but you put them outside and they just chill. Now, I like to grab fast. Some people are like, oh, you're grabbing too slow, but um, this is an animal that has tried to get me before and he's strong. And so we're just gonna say hello to him and we're just gonna grab them. And that was pretty easy. It's also kind of cool at the moment. Oh boy, you see, that wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad, but he's strong, so I need both hands. And he's really doing a good job of wiggling out. So you're gonna have to take my word for it. We're gonna get him in this uh, bin right now. And that's what we're gonna do. He's doing a bit of a death roll. Okay, there we go. He's in. Okay, good, no drama, I like this. 
Uh, you guys remember when I had that blue iguana in this cage and it got out and I ran all over to grab them? I just don't want any accidents. I want to keep all the lizards uh, in an enclosure that is properly secured. It's just the best way to do it. Um, there's just too much of risk. With all these new laws coming around, I just don't want to have any issues with escapes. I don't want to, you know, do anything half-assed uh, is the term. So we're not going to do it that way. We got a nice enclosure. We're putting them in it and they're going to tame up nicely. And it's going to be fun to show you guys uh, how this method works. So over the next few months, you're going to see how they calm down, how they really change their behavior um, and become, I wouldn't say fully tame, but I mean, I guess they would be, but they're just basically going to be more agreeable to me being around them, you know? So that's, that's the plan, Stans. All right. Sorry about the crookedness. It is what it is. Oh, we did the top. Okay. Okay, we're backing up. All right. Let's see how she's doing, too. Where is she? Oh, she's over by the water. Awesome. This is cool. Okay. Here he is. Let's get the stumper. Come on, stumps. Get on out, buddy. Oh, he made a poopies in there. He's a little nervous. There you go. You're good. You're good. I'm going to put this in here so we don't have this thing hanging about. All right. Let's just hang out with these two and see how they do. It's always interesting when you're putting animals into a new enclosure. Um, you want to see how they behave, how they do. There's Sophia over there and there's Stumpy. And of course I call him Stumpy because he's got that partially regenerated tail. Uh, lots of lizards, if you don't know, many of you do, um, are able to do something called caudal autonomy. They're able to just drop their tails as a survival technique uh, against predators. Um, basically the predator would then get confused or maybe pay attention to the tail wiggling around that it just dropped uh, and leave the lizard to grow a new one. But the new tails are never as beautiful or as long as the old ones. So you could see there with Stumpy and then look at that original tail she still has. I mean, that is one good looking gal, don't you think? I mean, there she is. Yeah, she's moving. I wanted to get her out into the sun so we could see her better. So there is Stumpy. What's up, Stump? Oh, you know what I did say? I was gonna give them some food. Let's do that. Let's make them feel, you know, happy. Food in the tummy always makes you happy, don't you think? Let's get them a, some little chows, shall we? Okay. Da, da, da. I'll rinse that out. Come on over here. Got all these empty cages, which is nice. It's nice to have empty cages. We're running low on some tortoise diet. But that's all we need. These guys ate yesterday. So just a small little handful uh, is all they're gonna get. But I think it'll be a nice way to kind of break them in. And we'll see if they have an appetite after what they've just endured. I mean, it isn't like a, it isn't like I shipped them across the country. They just went across the yard. So they should be good. They should still know what food is and enjoy it. Okay. And there's Oreo. Still hand feeding Oreo. I just want to make sure she's um, going to pull through, make it. I don't know. She worries me sometimes. Oh. Hey, look at that. Look at that. That's food. That's food. Oh, she's not in the mood. Hmm. Maybe uh, Stump is. His. Oh, see, this is the good thing, guys. I can sit here now. Up, oh, up, oh, good. There you go. Go ahead. There you go. There you go, Stumps. There you go. No, no, that's a rock. No, that's a rock. It, it's right there. Go get it, buddy. He went for it. He just couldn't figure it out. Now they're going to test this cage to see if they can get out. Come here, buddy. There you go. There it is. Yeah, he's definitely a little bit nervous, but let's see if she grabs. Oh, 
good. Never pass up some nutrients, kid. Very good. There's another one. All right. Well, that's always a good sign. I don't think it's going to be long for these two to really settle in. Um, it's awesome that I have this enclosure. And I figured since I have two of these animals, they're getting to be breeding size. I don't want her to get egg bound uh, to where uh, if she doesn't have the proper place to lay, it's possible that she'll hold on to those eggs and really hurt herself. So it's time to get them in an enclosure before um, an enclosure that is suitable for them to dig and to lay eggs for her to lay eggs so that coming around next uh, May, June is when they breed. So, um, you know, we'll get them settled in here for about a year uh, and then hopefully they'll breed and, uh, you know, this will be their, their home, man. And there'll always be some, uh, you know, adaptations or, or some changes to the furniture in here. Um, but yeah, so he's just looking at that water. I want him to see the nice, cool, clear water there. She's still bopping around. You see how alert they are though? Um, one of the reasons I really love Cycloroiguanas, the their look, uh, but their behavior is great too. Um, I wouldn't say, in my opinion, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't see them as intelligent as the monitors, but there is some, there is some intelligence. Um, and maybe it's just my own um, biases because, you know, what, what I notice is they're just built different. Uh, they're less agile, as you can see. She's just a little cumbersome as she climbs. They're less agile as, you know, a monitor. So I kind of just feel like, I don't know, that agility that the monitors have, the acrobatic, the, the, just the fluidness to the way they move is really cool. All right, here he goes. Let's see. That's a rock. They're just right now, you see them putting their tongue on everything. They too have Jacobson's organs, not quite as developed as a monitor or a snake, but they do in fact have um, the ability to kind of sense with their tongue. That's why they're always putting their tongue down so that they're, in, you know, this is a new spot. What is this place? Um, they're kind of, they're basically uh, programming their hard drive that this is gonna be their new spot. So I'm pretty excited about it. These two are uh, gonna make a just awesome pair of lizards as they already have been. But she's really growing into a beautiful lizard. And so if I didn't take these, um, these uh, you know, actions now, I think what would happen is I'd have a large lizard um, that could pretty much rip my thumb off. Um, and I wanna get her, you know, used to me and calmer so that, you know, we don't have any issues. So there you have it. She's a gorgeous gal. Look at her go. Gosh, she's beautiful. It's so awesome to see them move around. That's the other thing, right? Don't you guys think it's interesting to keep these animals in a larger environment because you want to see a full range of their behaviors. You want to see them moving. You want to see them like using that reptilian brain. Everyone says, oh, reptiles are stupid. But you know, if I grew up in a closet my whole life, I'd be dumb too. So we try here to give them a lot of space and uh, a lot of enrichment with that habitat. So I wouldn't mind, I, I was debating, there's a log back there, a tree that I cut down, but I was like, ah, should I get involved in lugging that big thing in? But it's way too heavy for me at the moment. I'm gonna need many hands to kind of use that thing. And I may even use it for a future pond project since it is such a large, cool log. But um, at the moment, we're just happy about this. We had some rain last night, so it's a little damp in here, uh, but it'll dry up nicely. This enclosure sits a little bit higher than the rest of the yard, so the water does drain quickly. And then in this corner, um, we do have, in fact, um, some soil that she'll be able to lay eggs in. So uh, pretty excited, man. Also, the whole thing is lined with chain link about, it's about maybe a half a foot before you get the chain link underneath. So um, yeah, this is great, man. Pretty happy about this little video. And uh, I'm always glad to share things with you guys, show you what I'm up to here, um, getting things going here at the camp. No, that's an electrical cord. She tries it out, realizes it's not good, and uh, she'll then leave it alone. But it's got that nice color, so she just gives it a little taste. Um, but yeah, look at her go. She's gonna do well in here, I really think so. And then he's up there. And there is a potential, um, that these two may get into a little bit of a skirmish for a week or two um, until things settle down. But um, I, I see them calming down already. And again, now I'm not gonna be charged at the door 
uh, and worried about them getting out because of course we have Guapo and Lola's enclosure plus the uh, safety door um, on the other side. So right now he's just looking, checking everything out. Um, it's, it's awesome, man. I love seeing the head bobs too. They're just kind of establishing themselves in here. We got this ponytail palm that I, w I had been like kind of growing. I've been pulling it down and growing it uh, in a weird way. It doesn't grow like that naturally. They grow straight up, but obviously it would bust out the top of our enclosure. So uh, years ago, I took a, um, a ratchet strap and, and I would every week just eh, 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 ratchet it down, ratchet it down until now, this thing grows in the most bizarre way. And I think that looks kind of cool. It just kind of snakes its way through the enclosure. So I'll continue to do that with that ponytail palm. Uh, I don't know, there's probably a term for that. I don't know if that's a bonsai type tree, but that's what I'm doing with that thing. And I think I like it. So very neat. She's eating some leftovers from yesterday. Um, and it's so great. Have I said that? I just love this. I mean, this is like the coolest thing about having animals like this is being able to put them in these really cool situations. And that's why guys, I was downsizing. So I can really maximize the care that I have uh, or that I can give for the animals that I have. So Stumpy, Crazy Sophia, welcome to your new home. Hope you guys like it. Hope you guys like this video. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the move uh, and my plans for what I'm gonna do with Pinky. I know some of you are gonna be like, what the heck, he's always changing his mind. And I said it at the top of the show. I changed my mind about a hundred times. Drive Kate crazy. But uh, the one thing that's always consistent is my animals are gonna be well taken care of. And I hope your animals are being taken care of as well. So thanks so much for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, oh, there's always someone here to eat leftover food. I'll see you guys later.